I'm Florina Ciorba, an assistant professor at the University of Basel, Switzerland. And I'm Michael Feldman, senior editor with The Next Platform, and I cover all things HPC. This week, we are at ISC High Performance 2019, the global event for high performance computing, networking, storage, and artificial intelligence. The event is bustling with over 3,500 attendees, HPC practitioners, young enthusiasts, and all the events in this year's program, the exhibits, the discussions, are aligned with this year's theme, Fueling Innovation. Right, and innovation was a big theme at the conference keynotes this year. We had three of them, all very different. The first one on Monday was all about how HPC and systems biology interact and how high-performance computing is actually driving that domain really rapidly. Uh, John Schauff's keynote on Tuesday was about Moore's Law, basically the, the end of Moore's Law and how that's going to impact the HPC space over the next five to ten years. And then the great keynote by Thomas Sterling on Wednesday. He always does a great job of recapping the year just passed and it was a, another superb performance by Thomas. The conference organizers also handpicked ver five very interesting distinguished talks that um, shed light on exascale computing, applied ethics uh, and deep learning, also the status quo on machine learning and quantum computing and the economics of computing beyond the end of Moore's law. Now let's move on to find out how this year's attendees benefited from participating at ISC 2019. So we had our traditional top 500 list release at ISC this year, uh, the 53rd list biannually. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of turnover on this list, in fact one of the lowest turnovers in the history of the list, but that said, uh, a big change in the list is now all the systems are petascale. That's a petaflop or more at the bottom of the list. It just made it, just squeaked over the top of uh, the number 500 system. Uh, at the top of the list was one new system. That was Frontera at number five. Uh, that's the system going into the Texas Advanced uh, Computing Center uh, TAC. We also had a big system, uh, commercial system, uh, from Total, the energy producer. That was a top 20 system, another big uh, multi-petaflop supercomputer. The contributed program is essential to researchers in the ISC IHPC community and the ISC 2019 brought junior and uh, senior researchers alike through various submissions opportunities. I would like to emphasize here the fact that the committee has um, stringently reviewed in order to maintain the high standards of the contributed program, which means that all accepted papers, uh, PhD forum submissions, research posters were reviewed by at least three experts. And this year's Hans Moyer Award went to Ignacio Laguna and uh, his colleagues at Lawrence Livermore National Labs for their paper on GPU mixer performance-driven floating point tuning for GPU scientific applications. We take this opportunity to congratulate them and also the winner of the Gauss uh, Award, which went to Frank Mueller and his colleagues at North Carolina State University for their paper on end-to-end -end resilience for HPC scientific applications. There were also many interesting tutorials, workshops and birds of a feather sessions. So basically there was something for everyone. The growing importance of machine learning and data analytics is driving HPC into new areas. It's also helping accelerate scientific research and engineering designs as well as helping manufacturers roll out better products. ISC has dedicated two special tracks to address both of these trends, the Industrial Day and the Machine Learning Day. For the Industrial Day, we had speakers from Airbus and BASF who talked about the use of HPC at those two firms to help spur innovation in their product sets. We also heard about how analytics and machine learning are changing the way businesses in areas like autonomous driving, vehicle design, and geospatial information systems are advancing those areas as well. During the Machine Learning Day, we learned about neural network research and how the technology is being used to accelerate the development of things like fusion energy, brain imaging, precision medicine, and a whole host of other areas. We really see how machine learning is really penetrating this HPC space and causing whole new workflows and applications to be developed. We 
some important businesses merging, which also is reflected in the technological directions, which are emphasized here on the show floor. Uh, and the INC exhibit is trying to keep up with, uh, with that and to also meet the demands of the high-end users. We have 165 exhibitors from almost 30 countries, two-thirds of them being industrial vendors with customer base in the public and the private sector, and one-third being uh, research institutions uh, that are doing exciting research. Yeah, and speaking of business mergers, we saw two of the most established companies in this space in the process of merging this year. We saw Cray is being acquired by HPE, and Mellanox, a very long-standing player, is being acquired by NVIDIA. For now, at the conference, it's business as usual for the companies, but I think in the years ahead, that's going to be a very different landscape. As we know, ISC's strength lies in bringing together the research, the academic and the commercial disciplines together. And the community that gathers at ISC comes from over 80 countries. Uh, and it is important to make everyone feel welcome regardless of their professional background. This year, the Inclusivity and Community Buildings Chair have organized a quiet room, which sits right above the exhibit, uh, to allow everyone to feel welcome and to recharge after receiving so much information from all the uh, part of the program. Uh, it is, uh, however, inclusivity is not about just the numbers. It is uh, about make a community that helps each other, supports each other and promotes each other. It is a mindset and it is about building an HPC village. Absolutely, absolutely. I think bringing the global HPC community together at this event is really the defining aspect of ISC. Being with everyone here for a week you really get the sense of how diverse and, and dynamic the HPC world has really become. One example of community building at ISC is the student cluster competition, which started eight years ago, and this year it gathers 14 highly skilled and enthusiastic teams from all over the world. So here we are, we've reached the end of ISC 2019, another very successful conference. I'm always impressed how well this conference and event tracks the transformations that are going on currently in the industry, and this year was no exception. The, I, the theme this year of fueling innovation was right on the mark. We would also like to thank you, Don Lu, for serving as the program chair this year, an amazing program. And also welcome David Keyes and uh, Martin Schulz as the program chair and co-chair for 2020. The 2020 call for papers is coming out uh, very soon in August and uh, make sure you do visit the ISC 2020 website for the new elements of the contributed program and next year's submission. So Florina, we can already see from looking at the agenda next year, there's going to be a continued focus on machine learning in 2020, which is of course no surprise. But also, next year we're going to be right on the cusp of exascale computing. And that's going to be really exciting, I think, for the people that come to this conference. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Michael. I think everybody can attest to the diversity of the topics and of the program elements this year, but I have a feeling they are very excited about next year as well, and I'm looking forward to that. Me too.